When analyzing text data, you first have to deal with the inherent messiness of free text and transform it into something more regular. This process is usually called text normalization or text cleaning and generally improves results a lot. There are several common pre-processing steps we'll look at. The first step is often converting to lowercase. Whether you should do this or not is application dependent. Some algorithms, for example algorithms for finding people or place names, can use case information. In other situations, typically when word frequencies are important, it is a good idea to convert all words to lowercase. The Python function dot lower will convert uppercase letters to lowercase ones. Notice that lower doesn't convert strings in place. It returns a copy of the string converted to lowercase. This is the output. The next step is to remove non-alphabetic characters. This means we get rid of numbers, extra white space and punctuation. There are various ways to accomplish each of these tasks. With string cleaning, the order of operations is important. For algorithms which aim to identify things like sentence boundaries, keeping punctuation marks is usually necessary. For other applications, again, particularly frequency analysis, they can cause issues. When you construct a text cleaning pipeline, make sure you apply each of the cleaning operations at the appropriate stage. Here we've removed digits using regular expression substitution. The usual way to remove punctuation in Python is to use a translator. First, we get all the punctuation marks from the string module. String.punctuation is simply a list of all the punctuation marks. The behavior of a translator is to map every character in the first argument onto characters in the second, and map every character in the third argument to none or the empty string. The result of this translator is to remove every punctuation mark in the text. If you want to later split a text into sentences, it can be useful to leave in the full stops. It can also be useful to leave in apostrophes to distinguish between its as in it is or its as in belongs to it. Here's the output. Another useful step can be to remove white space. To remove leading and trailing white space, we can use the Python string function strip. Again, notice this does not do in place modification and we have to capture the output. The extra white space at the beginning and the end has been removed. Another key step in text cleaning is tokenization. Tokenization means splitting the text into tokens, in this case words, usually on the white space. We can use the Python library NLTK for this. We get a list of the words in the text in order. Stop words are common words like the, and, it, and so on, which do not contain much information because they occur in just about every text. It's common to remove them so they don't get in the way. For example, when doing word frequency analysis, the fact that the word the appears a lot doesn't provide much information. The code shown gets NLTK's list of English language stop words and uses a list comprehension to filter out any words from the text which occur in that list. We have now removed common words like all, is, in, and so forth. Finally, we can use Python's set object to return only unique words. This is an example of a simple text cleaning pipeline that takes raw text as input and produces sets of unique words in the text. You may need to design different pipelines for different applications. For example, maybe you want all the sentences, maybe you want all the nouns or all the email addresses in the document. Generally, you'll pass your text through some sort of pipeline before performing any further analysis, and setting up the right pipeline is crucial for getting good results.